Hi, I'm Mervyn from Ecutech here today to talk to you about ECU Connect, our free to download iPhone and Android app, and ECU Connect Bluetooth vehicle interface, which allows you to connect your phone to your Nissan GTR. So what we're going to do now is talk through the features available for the Nissan GTR using ECU Connect. We're actually using an iPhone here, we can use an iPad, we can also use an Android phone or an Android tablet. So on the main page here we've got a dealer locator at the bottom. Dealer locator shows you your local tuners and you can filter by vehicle type for a particular tuner. We've also got archive. Archive here shows you uh, log files, save log files, and also save performance tests. Uh, you can select multiple files, singular files, you can share it on social media, you can share it by text message, and also by email. You can send your log file direct to your tuner. And then we've got My Car. When we choose My Car, Issue Connect is now going to connect to the Bluetooth vehicle interface that we've inserted in the vehicle's OBD2 socket. Info at the top here, this is a standard ECU Connect feature available on all Nissan GTRs, regardless of whether they have Ecutech Race ROM installed or not. When we choose Info, see we've got two ECU supported. We've got the engine ECU and the gearbox ECU. On the engine ECU there, you can see that at the bottom there, we've got Race ROM app support. So that means if you've got the car, if you've got Race ROM in your ECU, Race ROM features are going to be available on ECU Connect. First feature is data logging. Data logging on Nissan GTR is very fast now. It's even faster than Pro ECU with up to 70 hertz, 70 times a second. We've got the standard data logging parameters. And if we go into the settings in the top right hand corner, we also have, we have race ROM in the ECU. We have the race ROM parameters. These are things like custom maps and speed density, um, G sensors, and we can enable and disable logging parameters as required. If we choose done, we go to the bottom, choose start, we start communicating with the ECU and retrieving the data from the engine ECU. If whilst driving, logging and recording, uh, an event happens that we want to mark, we just do add mark. Each time we mark the log file, it's recorded for easy analysis at a later date. If we choose landscape, we get minimum max added to the screen and we can also clear the min max values. If we choose stop, it's now save the log file to file. What we also have is the ability to log the engine ECU and the gearbox ECU. So on the top left here, choose ECUs, we can select ECM and TCN, the transmission control module. When we, contr when we choose both of them, logging speed is reduced. We've got, I think, around 150 parameters to log then, but it's still something like 24 times a second, so still very fast. The advantage of being able to log the engine ECU and the gearbox ECU simultaneously is especially useful during launch control when we can see exactly what the engine's doing and the gearbox is doing at the same time. We go back. Uh, next one, map switching. So our Nissan GTR software has four map switch modes. So you need race ROM in the ECU for this to work. And when we go in, we can see this has been configured by our tuner. We've got map switch mode one, road 95 octane. Next one, we've got road high octane, 98 octane here in the UK. Next one is for race fuel, 106 octane, and we also have ethanol flex fuel setting in mode four. When we select the different modes using our mobile device, the rev counter also moves to indicate which mode is currently selecting. Launch control. So with the Nissan GTR, we've got adjustable launch control. So this is the standard Nissan launch control plus race ROM launch control. Race ROM allows us to adjust the launch RPM live using our phone. What we also have is boost off the line, and depending which map switch mode is selected, depends what the target boost pressure is. So you can see here mode two is highlighted, and we can reduce and increase the target boost pressure for the conditions that we have at the track at that day. As you can see, we've got a different boost off the line target for each of the map switch modes. Boost controller, so this is part of Race One Boost Controller where we can adjust the maximum allowed boost for each of the map switch modes. This is quite a powerful car. We're running 2.6 bar absolute. And you can see there we've just reduced mode one boost pressure down to a maximum of 1.4 bar. That's gonna be pretty low, 1.8 bar. And here we set mode three to two bar. 
mode four down to 1.8 bar and the current map switch mode will set to two bar, absolute. Um, when we're moving the race ROM boost controller, the maximum value, it also drives the boost gauge on the dash, a standard race ROM feature. Valet mode, race ROM has quite comprehensive valet mode for when the car's not in your care and you can simply enable or disable valet mode using your mobile device. DTC, we can read and clear DTCs on all, all ECU modules. In this example, we've got an engine ECU DTC and you can see here we've got several, um, several DTCs shown that we can clear using the clear button. Performance Analyzer. ECU Connect has a built-in performance analyzer where we can set um, different thresholds for, for the test that we'd like to carry out. The settings buttons on the top right hand corner enables us to choose the test that we'd like to make. New run will start the test. If you're driving along, it will prompt you to stop the vehicle and when you're ready um, to start off, the, the performance analyzer will automatically start recording the data. Once all the thresholds have been reached it, re reached, it will automatically stop the test or if you abort the test for some reason after two seconds, ECU Connect will save um, the performance data that you've achieved already. Once the test is finished, you can either save or share the file um, for later. we we'll choose abort. Come back. Now we're moving into ECU Connect's diagnostic tools. Um, this is particularly useful on the GTR. There's lots of special things that we can use ECU Connect for. Under ECM tools, the engine ECU tools, we've got an ECU reset feature. The ECU reset will clear all the learning from the ECU. So that's any fuel trims, um, any throttle balancing. Resetting the ECU will take it, reset it back to standard. Next one is idle learning. This is quite important on the GTR. And once you run idle learning in park, the engine needs to be up to temperature, it will balance the throttles and balance the airflow between the banks to provide a smooth idle. Out of the ECM tools. Next one is fuel pump tool. So the Nissan GTR has two fuel pumps. It's got a main fuel pump that's um, duty driven and a secondary on and off pump. Um, at low speeds, it will run in low mode. You can purge the main pump and run it in high. The second fuel pumps are a known problem on GTR. And if you think it's not working, you can simply turn it on and just have a listen, see if the pump runs, turn it off. If you think you've got a problem with the fuel pump, same with the primary, you can turn it off and see if the car stops or not. The other thing is if you want to purge the fuel tank to get rid of um, your gasoline, let's say, and you want to fill with ethanol, you can use this feature to purge the fuel tank. Transmission tools, GTR's got a very trick dual clutch gearbox. We can use the TCM tools to uh, do various things with the gearbox. The top one there is the warning history. The gearbox is recording lots of different, um, lots of different things with the gearbox. And you can see here, uh, we haven't got any, any of the thresholds being tripped at the moment. Clutch protection, high pressure oil loss, all set to no at the moment because our car doesn't have any problems. If, if some of the clutch protection have been flagged, you can reset this using ECU Connect. Oil temperature history, this shows the frequency that we've reached certain temperatures in the gearbox oil. So you can see most of the temperature really has been between 80, uh, minus 20 and 80 degrees C, with a few events over um, 80 degree, up to 110. Clutch learning. Um, this is very important. This provides the touch points and the clutch capacity. You can see the clutch capacity shown there. We've got the ability to reset the clutch capacity in the touch points and then carry out a gearbox auto learn. The sequence takes a few minutes uh, where the ECU will go through a sequence and calibrate the gearbox. Manual clutch adjustments. This will allow uh, the driver to adjust the clutch settings himself. We've got clutch capacity A and B and we've got a touch point for A and B. And they're quite simply, you can adjust live the settings as I'm doing at present. Touch point is the bite point where the clutch engage and the capacity is, is um, how aggressive the clutch is when it comes in. Uh, a negative value would make the clutch slip, a very smooth takeoff, whereas a positive value would give it a very binary feel, a very on-off race car feel. And then you can reset and go back to standard again. Launch control, if your car's been launched, you can see our car's only ever been launched three times. That was probably me. Um, 
but it's a well cared for example as you can see. And the final one is TPMS, tire pressure sensing. Um, I'm not going to go through the full sequence today, but with a TPMS, third party TPMS tool, you can initiate the TPMS sequence. Uh, you see a picture of the car shown there. We choose start, start in registration, and then you move your way around the car and register each of the TPMS sensors. Back, back to the main menu again. So these are some of the the powerful features that are available using ECU Connect on your Nissan GTR. Some of these features are available for all Nissan GTRs. They don't need to have the ECU program with Ecutech. Um, the standard features are the information, the data login, the DTC, diagnostic trouble codes, the performance analyzer, and the ECU tools. The custom race run parameters configured by your tuner are the map switching, the launch control, and the boost controller. In addition, the final one is the custom inputs. Custom inputs provides us with five virtual inputs into the engine ECU using our mobile device. These can be configured as a slider, as a switch, a numerical value, a list value, or as a non-latching switch, a momentary switch. The possibilities are endless. We can do all sorts of trick things. We can do adjustable launch control. Um, we can do adjustable boost control. We can add nitrous, we can turn on and off water injection. These are just a few of the things that we're able to do that we'll go into more detail later on. In this particular example, we've set up a per gear boost limit. So this would be useful on a drag car. So it gives the, um, the user, the customer, the ability to customize his car at the track for those conditions. So as well as adjustable boost control, which sets the maximum in each of the gears, as well as boost off the line, where he can adjust his own target boost pressure ready for launch, adjust the launch RPM, he can now also cap the maximum boost pressure in each of the gears. So maybe a car running two bar of boost might have too much wheel spin at low RPM. So in the lower gears, he can go in and he can simply reduce the target boost pressure in each of the gears. So we've just dropped the boost now to one bar. Maybe in second gear, we can run 1.2 bar. And in third gear, we can move up to 1.4 bar. Fourth gear, 1.5. And then in fifth and sixth gear, we can have the full 1.7 bar. So this allows us to get the best performance on the day and provides functionality that was never before possible um, from the factory ECU. And it's only possible using Ecutech Race ROM, custom maps, and ECU Connect.